Welcome guys, this is Joe here from LEB Gaming and today we are doing a brand new plugin showcase and the plugin in question is Square Plot. So yeah, let's get started. So if you are looking for a plot server or a plot plugin, I'd recommend this one. All the links are down in the description and today we're going to be going over how to install, how to make your first world, how to make a second world custom and how going over user commands. So the first two plugins I recommend to get, or you need them, so is Square Plots. So you can just run the plugin with this just alone, but I would recommend to get Multiverse Core as well. It makes uh, generating the world a lot more simpler in my mind. So all you gotta do is just quickly download them, accept, yes, then all you gotta do is stick them in that folder there. So one more to stick in, and we are done. So now we can get the server going and before we end up go before we get into the game if you scroll down this page there is a lot of add-ons you can get here so that is very good and uh, here's some info how to you know just some in installation guides and how to use a command so go and check these out all the links are down in the description as i said so yeah let's get in the game right then we are now in game so before before we start all the commands are going to be popping up on screen in a bit bigger writing so you're not struggling to see chat so anyway let's get started so the first command you're going to be using is this one now this is going to generate the default terrain in square uh, plot squared sorry so uh yeah let's get started so all you need to do is enter and as you can see it's generated quite quickly so now all we got to do go over there is MVTP plot and that's what I called it so as you see here it's uh, MV create and whatever name you want here then the rest nice and simple so we're gonna go over there and as you can see let's get back into first person you can see we have made our first plot world so you can just leave it like that if you wanted to but let's say you want something custom to your server and you want something special you want to make your own uh, plot world really so let's make that now a few things are going to be popping up on screen now some parameters and the command what I am using so what we want to do is we want to go back up to this command colon and now or semicolon sorry and now we want to add a few parameters let's say we want to make the plots bigger so you can use s or uh, size but we're going to just use s equals 128 so that's 128 in the two directions of a square so that's nice simple then we're gonna have add a comma and we're gonna add uh, the main block it's gonna be so that's M equals we're gonna say 24 then we're gonna add a brand new top block so at the moment it's just grass on here so let's add ooh, let's add Mm, four so let's add cobblestone so it's f equals four so what this is it's changing the size then changing the main block to 24 what is sandstone then the top block of instead of this grass it will be cobble so now enter away oops sorry i'm not doing i need to have a brand new name so it's gonna create there nice and simple and all we gotta do is mv tp plot two so now it has took us over to our brand new world and as you can see here it's made the plots much bigger and if we break through here you'll see sandstone nice and easy to make your own custom world and this is like special to your server you know if you you can make some right really interesting stuff with this so yeah let's move on to the user commands Right then, we are on our last bit of our video, and now we're going to be going over the user commands. So the first one is how to actually claim a plot. So it's slash claim, oh sorry, it's slash plot space claim. And as you can see here, nicely claimed, as you can see. And uh, you know, the owner and it's claimed. And if we walk through it, it actually pops up on our screen. Now that is a really cool feature, what I really like. Nice and simple, and you know, we can go and claim this plot over here if we really wanted to. Now there is a limit, you can set a permission on how many you know times they can claim plots. But let's say you had a spawn up high and you know soon after and you had quite a lot of plots around. So let's say someone wants to find a plot really quickly. All they would have to do is plot splay, space auto and it cla claims the next three plots. And now we can uh, so let's say we've claimed these so we can just do another auto claim. 
and now we own these four plots so it's telling us which plot we're going into and it's we've owned these plots so now let's let's get rid of a plot so all you need to do is just come back up if you've already claimed it plot play space unclaim and now that that plot you do not own anymore so when you run through it so as this one then we run through it nothing's going to pop up nice and simple but let's say you want to you know get rid of this plot because or you want to reset it to sync house so all you need to do is plot clear nice and simple and it clears and it resets and it tells you how long it took in milliseconds or so what's quite quick and also you can do delete as well if I can get it right the way around and that deletes everything inside and uh, deletes the owner of that plot so it's sort of an admin command but it is for the players as well you can't like go to something random one and now let's say we want to add a player so we're gonna do plot add and all you need to do is the player's name sadly I don't have one on the server so we can't actually do it so as you see uh, player not found and if you wanted to remove or deny a player so as again nice and simple deny so that will deny the player from you know getting onto your plot or send you a request or sync on that lines and now if let's say you have a player who's messing about and you don't want to on your plot remove player nice and simple just to do that very simple to do and that's all the commands I'm going to be showing. So I've gone over the basic commands. There is a lot more to this plugin. And I do recommend you go and checking it out. Now everyone knows Plot Me is out there. But they haven't really updated. They've been updating it so it works with current versions. But I haven't seen no new features lately. So these guys are constantly updating. And I've already talked to the developers. And according to them they've got a nice big list on what they're going to be doing. And everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to LEB Gaming, follow me on Twitter, share it, favourite, make sure you like it, and I will see you next time. This is Joe from LEB Gaming, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.